Hello YouTube family, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm back with another devotional. This devotional is entitled, Entrusted with the Gospel. And I'll be reading from my Bible, Matthew 25, 14 through 30. I'm reading from the ESV. For it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted them his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability, then he went away. He who had received the five talents went at once and traded them with them, and he made five talents more. So also he who had the two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Now after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you del delivered to me five talents. Here I have made five talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he also, who had the two talents, came forward saying, Master, you delivered to me two talents. Here I have made two talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter the joy of your master. He also who had received the one talent came forward, saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you did not sow, and gathering where you scattered no seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground here. You have what is yours. But his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown, and gather where I scattered no seed. Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and at my coming I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him, and give it to him who has the ten talents. For to everyone who has will be will more be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who have, who has not, even what he has will be taken away, and cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Ooh. Amen. Alright, that's the Bible reading. Now the devotion. Imagine that you're minding two children. As they play, the younger one asks you to hold a dirty plastic pail. A while later, the older one hands you a necklace that had been her grandmother's. You wouldn't worry too much about the toy, but you'd probably guard the jewelry with great care. The way we handle a possession reveals its value to us. We see th this principle in Jesus' parable 
about the master who entrusted his workers with various sums of money. The two who invested theirs were later commended. Their efforts showed that they valued both the treasure and their master. A third worker, however, simply buried the amount he'd been given and all he earned was a harsh rebuke. Like these men, we are responsible for something of great worth. God has placed in our keeping the most powerful and precious message in existence, the gospel of Jesus. And we are accountable for what we do with it. Do you feed on God's word daily and obey all it says? He has commanded us to share his life-saving message with a hurting and needy world. Whether we listen and obey reveals how much we value the gospel. Ooh. Amen. Yes. I hope everybody out there is the <laughs> values the gospel. Yes. I've been reading from an ESV Bible. I have a study, new study Bible that I received for Christmas. It's an archaeology study Bible. It has maps. It has maps in it and it shows artifacts. Yeah, also has different different maps in it. I only just started reading it, so there's a lot to go through. <laughs> it's a big Bible, but I love it. Hey. Okay. That's all I have to share with you today. Hope you enjoyed the reading. Hope it meant something to you. And until I read to you again, God bless you all. And goodbye.